There are 9,866,539 buildings in the Netherlands. Give or take a few. Some new, some old, some squished, and some, well, blue. But of those 9 million, there's a one story in Amsterdam with a gray door and a secret. In it sits a man who is not supposed to be there, but he wants to tell you something. This, this, this. All right, so uh, where are you from specifically? I am from Somalia. I just ran from the country. It's not our building where we are living. It's somebody building, but we crack it. Meet Abdi. Um, well, kind of. He, he doesn't want to be on camera. Sorry, I don't want to be in camera. Okay, okay. That's because if he's recognized by police, he could be detained or jailed. You see, Abdi is living in the Netherlands illegally. In Netherlands, we were intending to have a process to get a residential permit to this country. They refused us and we are in the street. Thousands of asylum seekers in Amsterdam live in unused buildings or squats. Why? Well, 90,000 people seeking refugee permits came to the Netherlands in the past two years. We are not animals. Dogs, cats, sheep, they have a permit. They have a place to stay. But we, as a human being, we don't have somewhere to stay. But many aren't granted those permits to stay and are asked to leave. Yet, and here's the key, the Dutch government often won't deport asylum seekers back to war-torn countries. So for some, it's illegal to stay, risky to be seen in public, and very difficult to go back home. So where do you go? Therein lies the story of the asylum squatters. Tell me about this bedroom. Is this all of your stuff? Yeah, this room now for me is five-star hotel. I am scared for the police because I don't have document. I don't, I cannot go work. I'm scared. Every day and every time I'm scared. I have squat maybe 28 buildings. How many years? Five years. Jabir lives just a soccer ball kick down the hallway from Abdi. Yeah, I like football, yeah. He's been on the move since childhood, first in Somalia, then Yemen, Syria, Greece, and now here. He says when he arrived, the Dutch government didn't believe he was from Somalia, and he was denied a refugee permit. He told me you have proof. What's proof? Jabir is the one who found this empty building where he and his friends have moved. They've been here a month, but an eviction is coming. Maybe next week I'm west, I don't know. The squad is, is a they just like helping us so we can stay out from the cold. Because people are dying outside the cold. What, what is here? Nothing. Mattress, my clothes, and um, something to brush my teeth, and this refrigerator. Potential houses are either scouted in person, found using housing websites, or recommended by Dutch squatters. The history of squatting in Amsterdam dates back to the late 70s, when there were a lot of empty buildings and a permanent housing shortage. Squatting was legal actually for many years. There was a point at which the courts decided if you had moved in with a table, a chair, and a mattress, that this was now your house. Uh, and in 2010, it was finally declared illegal. Squatting is prohibited in the Netherlands, so we don't acknowledge that. As, as Amsterdam, we have to uh, provide uh, about 2,000 people a year uh, with a permit. Only the refugees who doesn't have a permit. We are not allowed to give them shelter or we are not allowed to give them a house. We as a city are accepting it, but at a national scale, it's more right-wing the debate there. Overall, Amsterdam considers itself accepting of refugees, but Earlier this year, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte defeated an anti-immigration candidate in an election. But even Rutte said that the refugee crisis puts the EU at risk and has called for cultural assimilation. Freedom, I don't know what that word means, because really I did never practice. I come from military dictatorship and I end up here. 
Some asylum seekers have responded to the lack of permits by organizing. Uh, this place used to be care facilities. Now we use it as a living facilities. <laughs> Khaled is from the Darfur region of Sudan and helps run the group We Are Here. In We Are Here, our aim is to be dependent in ourselves. The group stages marches, protests, and attempts to start communication with building owners. But sometimes that just doesn't work, as is the case with Abdi and Jabir. Some building owners will tolerate the guests, but others turn to police or courts to evict squatters. After all, what they're doing is illegal. You cannot throw garbage in the street. You'll be caught by the police or you can be jailed. But how can be, you see that a human being to be in the street is not a garbage, it's a human being. 